Hi, this is Stewie Family, and today I'm going to be talking about a topic I don't normally talk about a lot in my videos, and that's music. If you know me personally, my top three favorite genres of music are classic rock, country, and R&B. Uh, just read last night that one of my favorite R&B singers, Alexander O'Neill, just gave a very bad performance at a uh, club called Escape in Amsterdam, and... Uh, Someone actually uploaded part of the, uh, the concert on YouTube, and I watched it. And I gotta say, it was a very bad performance. Probably, probably his worst performance he's ever had in his career. Uh, there was no backup band behind him like there usually is whenever he gives a concert. Instead, they only had MP3s, which uh, skipped and stuff, and he was also lip-singing the songs. And... Uh, also, the, he kept saying that the monitors wouldn't work, that he needed music in the monitors and all that. The monitor behind him didn't work, and uh, speakers was not working, microphone did not work right. And on top of all that, the man uh, didn't really sing that much. He basically just told jokes like he was a comedian instead of an, a music artist. Uh, you know, people's been saying that he's doing drugs now. Which I don't know if that's true or not. He did kind of act strange. Like very, very uh, blowed out of his mind whenever he performed that show. But I mean, I've never heard of Alexander O'Neill doing drugs. So I'm going to read you this little uh, comment that somebody left on a fan site for Alexander O'Neill. Uh, the topic is, worst gig i ever seen. And uh, somebody wrote that this concerns the concert in Amsterdam in December uh, of 2009. They wrote, shame on you in the meaning of that everybody who is working for Mr. O'Neill should try to do everything possible to avoid things like the show which happened yesterday in Amsterdam. This is for Mr. O'Neill. In my opinion, you should ask for help. If I would be you, just ask for medical slash psychological help. With the lousy poor show you delivered yesterday, you did embarrass not only me and my friends, which was seven people, who came all the way from Germany to see your show. We expected a backup van, which was not existent, including hotel booking, etc. About 500 people had feelings in the range between being pissed on and having sad uh, feelings about this wreck of a once-beloved soul singer. We did pay a lot of money for this event and received less than nothing. The management or whoever is also responsible for this mess yesterday, you should have given anybody the money back instead of letting this silly old man on stage. So I'm blaming anybody in your organization as well as Mr. O'Neill. You are a good example of what happens when drugs dictate your life. Shame on you. In my opinion, I'm not going to give up on Alexander O'Neill just yet. Alexander O'Neill is a very, very good R&B singer. He was one of the most important R&B singers of the 1980s and early 1990s. Kind of like Freddie Jackson. And I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not going to give up on him yet. He's an amazing guy. He's an amazing singer. He's a funny guy. And I still got hope for the guy. Unlike these people that just... You know, I can understand why uh, they said that, because, you know, he did. It was a bad performance. But, I mean, I'm not going to give up on the guy yet. Sure, I mean, the concert was bad and everything. But, I mean, you know, what artist hasn't had a bad concert in their career? I mean, really. Almost, er almost every artist has had a bad concert in their career down the road. And, you know, that's pretty much my opinion on it. But, uh, yeah. That's all I want to say. Um, also, if you want to watch the part of the concert in uh, Amsterdam, I got the link over in the description right over there. And if you want to know more about Alexander O'Neill, just click the uh, link right below the uh, link to the video over there. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I want to say. This is Stewie Family saying thanks, goodbye, and I'll see you again.